Can I just say how much I hate this stone guardian boss? Out of all the bosses, this is by far the worst one that I absolutely despise because it's pretty tough. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty tough. But at the end of the day, hey, we gotta get those high scores. Well, we gotta get a good time in because one, we need those tickets, right? And two, we need the shadow traces because I don't know about you guys, but uh, you know, with, with, with my power level increasing, I'm gonna cater more to this. That being said, I've got 733. I'm probably gonna be investing a little bit more into Kaizel only because there's going to be no new uh, shadow dropping for October outside of Kaizel and November. The next shadow that is on the list is going to be in December. So, might as well get some big jumps going on in terms of power level. So, that is something that I'm going to be focusing on. And if you guys want to focus on that too, you know, you're more than welcome to get some, get get juiced up a little bit since we're, we've got no shadows coming in up until um, December. Uh, but anywho, we are going to be running some runs on this boss. Um, so, 133 is my current time. Um, I think I can get a little bit more quicker on that one. This is the initial uh, team setup. When it comes to the shadow, um, you can either go with Big Rock or if you've got Tusk, throw Tusk in there before core attack. Or if you've got um, Blades. I feel like Blades and Igris are like the alternative plays if you don't have Big Rock or Core. Or um, Tusk, sorry. To get to the core. To be fair, actually, because uh, I feel like some people might run Tusk because of. Um, uh, Hansemi's, uh, I'm not Hansemi, um, Tuyun's, um, core attack, so it might be Big Rock, Igress, or Blade, that, depending on whichever one you've got juiced up. So yeah, this is pretty much the formation, um, or what I've been using, of course, and so with the accessories, you've got the Blessing Fall set, you've got the Curse set, um, I decided to opt out and use the MP set. Now, reason being is because you're not going to be using Qhun as much as you think. And that is because it's actually Emma that's going to be doing a lot of the clearance, to be fair. Um, hence why, as you guys can see with the sets, um, I've got the uh, Concentration of Firepower, because her AoE skill is going to be heavily needed. So we can, if we can help her out for that increased damage and cooldown on the basic skill, that's exactly what you want. Um, and then I'm running the 2 cast set, because we want her to do damage. DPS Emma, she, she, hey, she's an all-rounder, support, breakage, DPS, and that's why we've got the uh, additional two sets, so that way we can get that 50% increase of break, uh, break effectiveness, because we need that, because she has to break. So that is pretty much the full set for Emma. Again, Emma is pretty much the the, 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 the character that's going to be helping us. Um, in terms of skills, this is kind of where I've got it at. If you've got this basic skill done up quite nicely, like high level, or even maxed out, um, yeah, this is going to be clearing out uh, the uh, elites and, and the, the, the non-boss characters, <laughs> the grunts, um, a lot sooner. Um, in terms of Min, you really don't need to do much to be fair, because you're just going to be using for buffing. And then Suyun, I've just got across the board 777, so yeah, and the core attack has 6, so yeah, that's, that's pretty average and standard, so not too bad in that one. Um, I'm going to do, do, I, I want to do a run with Choi. So after we do a run of two, you can see if I can beat it. If not, it's fine. Um, we've got more than enough time. I'll just kind of give you guys a rundown of how I've been kind of doing things. All right, so hopefully things don't lag on my end. So kind of just push them all to the side. Here we go. Nice, and then... There we go. Nice. And then we're just gonna push you. Now, preferably, I would like you to come a little bit closer but that's fine boom and then while so that that th th this is a big trick by the way um you want Suhyun to do her second skill and you go into Emma uh that's the big big trick when you're doing this fight so nope boom 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 and then obviously with this one should have actually just kind of that no, that's fine there we go. Boom. Boom. And then four. There we go. That second skill always needs to come into effect. Nope. Avoid taking damage. 
Okay, or not. Okay, pretty much do that and then switch out. Immediately go in with the skill. There we go. Beautiful. Nice, okay. Just working out beautiful now. There we go, now we go straight in the ultimate and then what I'll do here is I'll apply the second skill and then go straight into Emma. There we go. He's applied his... Um... Damn it, I was really hoping not for that to come into play. 138, okay, so yeah. Pretty much. And then Emma. Yeah, we didn't get any... Okay, we, we kind of needed some fat crits basically there. But it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a GG. Okay, so it, it, this is a tough fight and pretty much that's kind of like the way I kind of did it. Pretty much in this instance, you want to do it before... So if I wasn't stunned right there, I would have the ult and it would have been like a... It, it definitely would have been one below 140, uh, which actually is a decent timing overall and that will probably depending on your group, will might get you in the top 10 position. Um, so preferably you want to beat him before he goes into the shield mark, as you guys can see. He's got the shield up. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I know some people might be considering by taking Mei Lin. Um, and if your damage output isn't beating him before he activates the shield, then rather than bringing Min, you will have to bring in Mei Lin. I think that is going to be the better choice. Um, so that that's the alternative play if, 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 if that's what you're struggling with, if you're not doing enough damage. All right, so I'm going to give Choi... The one hit kill. I kind of want to see if this ult can really help me out. To be fair, the only thing that has kind of made me realize something is that we need Gina to be a fire element support. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. That that's something kind of what I'm looking for, to be honest, right now. Okay. Drop this. Drop this. That didn't reach. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. That. Boom, boom, boom. Looks like you need a fire start. Damn it. Okay, what was that? Okay, that 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 was uh, I think two seconds quicker. I think. Could be wrong. Okay. Oh my god, I Jesus Christ on a bike. Nice one shiny. Takes the beam made. Nice. Nice. There we go. No, you don't. Boom. Christ. Okay. Drop the ult. What's the timer looking like? 120. Okay. Drop this, drop this, then we drop the ult. Okay, I need to go straight into Emma here. Oh, I've, I've got the Meteor coming. 140, damn it! Oh, I, <laughs> well, then again, when I activated, I think I was, I was, I was on 120. Um, but it's still a decent time for, for a lot of people, I think, if, if you can hit around that, 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 that ball play. Um, Damn, I, I feel like Troy could work. 130, damn it, it's not going to be quick enough. Unless I get a fat crit here. 135, ah, 1.65, okay. Okay, all right. We're cooking, we're cooking. We're slowly getting there. I mean, I can probably get 130. It's going to be a tough one. All right, I had to go quiet on that one because I was really, really concentrating. Um, I decided to, uh, if I quickly go check, because I, um, I gave soon the one hit kill to the concentration firepower to see if I can get like a fat nuke on the ultimate to then the uh, second skill just kind of piling on the damage so that when Emma comes in as you just saw right there it just kind of clears things up. Um, but 130 was the timer so if I can clear up phase one and two a little bit more quicker then I can probably get 130 which isn't bad. Um, yeah, or I just have to commit to leveling up their skills, which I don't want to do. I don't want to waste resources. I mean, to be fair, you know, these resources are hard to come by. So, I don't, you know, as much as I would mind investing them, I'm just going to kind of be content with being in top five at most. So, yeah, we'll gladly take that. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much the newest boss, Fire Element. We, we, we need that support play. Like I said, any other character will work. Mei Lin, 
uh, Min, but predominantly those two, if that's what you need in terms of removing barrier, Mei Lin. But we need that Gina Mage fire support. And praise the gods that she provides us with um, defense penetration increase along with dropping the enemy's defense. If that's the type of support we get, oh, fire element are going to be cooking. Like, literally cooking. And then all we need at this very moment is um, Kaisal to drop. And then we're chilling. We're chilling. Anyway, boys, yeah, that is everything. There we go. That's the new boss. Um, yeah, just going to have to keep at it until I can beat 133. Gotta, gotta keep it going, gotta keep it going. Second to last boss, gotta keep it going.